MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Cleveland Indians and the Minnesota Twins. Stepping into the box, Cesar Hernandez. He will lead this one off today. Here now the 2-2. Fouled off. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. In now for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. Lifetime okay. against Jose Barrios. He's got five base hits in 29 at-bats. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. And he fouls this one off. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Stepping into the box, Francisco Lindor will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that's through for a hit. The first baseman. Into the box now, Carlos Santana. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. All even now, two and two. Lindor is off of first with two away. And another foul ball. Another one sent foul. Ready with another 2 2. And an off speed hit swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Stepping in, Jorge Polanco. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And it's fouled away. The one two is laid off for ball two. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. Josh Donaldson waits on deck. Struck him out. Striding into the box, Josh Donaldson. The third baseman. The one one. Drilled right back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Batting third, the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. Standing in now, Nelson Cruz. No contact there, and it's one and two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Line hard to the left side, but this is a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Now the number four Minnesota hitter, Eddie Rosario. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 1-1. One, one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. 
Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to work the count. Bullet to second base, a fine play, and that ends the inning. Second inning set to go, and digging in now, Fran Reyes. Now the 2-1. Takes a pass and misses, that's strike two. Mine to the right side. Cave is there, one away. Coming to the plate That's now, it. Tyler Naquin, the as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Tyler Naquin. A ball and two Help. strikes now. Two. Popped him up. Donaldson is able to look this one in just past the third base dugout, and that's out number two. Stepping up to the plate, Roberto Perez. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two now. No score here as we play inning number two. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Hit hard to short. He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Digging in now, Miguel Sano. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 2 2. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. That is better. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Fouled away. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Another 1-2 delivery. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Stepping in, Jake Cave will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And he popped him up. In comes the left fielder. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Into the box, Ryan Jeffers. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now. And he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. The 2-2. Two -two. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full three and two. Jorge Polanco would be next. High in the air out to center field. DeShields is there, and that retires the side. So striding forward now, Josh Naylor, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. The 1-1 is a fastball down below the knees.
I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base this could spell for a huge inning. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So coming to the plate, Delino the DeShields. Delino. The 1-1 the one -one home. It is swung on and missed for strike number two. He's in complete command of his two-seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Bounce towards the second baseman. Knee high. He barehands it. What an outstanding play to end the inning. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Jorge Polanco. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Aye. Won't commit on the slider, good patience, and it's full three and two. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Into the box, Josh Donaldson. He reached on a single in his first try. Now the one and one pitch. This is skied into short left center. Naylor comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Digging in for his second at bat. Nelson Cruz 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Oh, no, he can't hold on to it. And the throw in gets away from him. And they'll hold the lead runner at third, but the batter does end up making it to second with only one away. So it's second and third following the error. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Eddie Rosario. The 3 1. Runners are at second and third with one down. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. The batter, now at the plate, Luis Arias. Pins. Runner in scoring Luis. position with Sudan. Oh, one and one. Here it is. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Oh, a diving stop by Santana. It's there. He got him. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. All set for the start of the fourth. And next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Now the one and one pitch. Ball match outside. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Here now the 2-2. Hey, throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. No runs, just one hit and one error in the ball game for Cleveland so far. One and two now as that one's fouled off. 
swing and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. Therefore it is Donaldson and there are two away now. Stepping up now Carlos Santana. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah but it was a good change up Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Buxton is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here comes the first baseman, Miguel Sano. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So the base the is empty fielder, here with one away, ball. and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, Byron Buxton. Trying to bunt his way aboard to no avail. It's two and two. Swung on in the dirt. Strike three. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. So here's Jake Cave to the plate. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. And that'll bring in Fran Reyes. Swing and a miss, strike two. Fouled off. Here's another 2 2. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one now away. Right Stepping in Tyler. and ready for another shot, Naquin. Tyler Naquin. The one-two is looked at off the plate for a ball. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. Throw is not going to be in time to get him, and somehow he's going to wind up with an infield single. So now to the plate, Roberto Perez, and he fouls this one off. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. The left fielder, number 31. At the plate, Josh, Josh. Naylor. As he'll Naylor. look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And it's fouled away. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Now batting. And here's the second generation big leaguer Delino DeShields. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Three and two to the Indian center fielder. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Striding in, Ryan Jeffers. He flew out in his last at-bat. the 2 1 hit back toward the mound and that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single the batter, number 11. 
Stepping in now, Jorge Polanco. A ball and two strikes to the Twins shortstop. Right side. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The third baseman, number 24. At the plate, Josh Donaldson. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Hernandez at second. On to first, and Donaldson's gone as well. It's a double play. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. One run, four hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Hey, what a job right here to put yourself in position to get out of this one after giving up back to back. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He'll get the sixth inning started for Cleveland. The 1-1 home. It's a fastball that misses. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Up next to Cleveland, the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. In now, Jose Ramirez. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking up around the letters. And that'll bring now in the back. switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Here's Carlos Santana now. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's the payoff pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the outfielder, Eddie Rosario. The 1-1 home. <laughs> Lays off 2-2 two and two now. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Eddie Rosario is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. And it's one and two. I got the count one and two. That misses, and we're even at two and two. One out, nobody on. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Fielded cleanly, and they won't have a play as he reaches it first. Let's see how this is scored. Now back, first baseman, Miguel Sano. Standing in now, Miguel Sano. A two-ball, one-strike count to the Twins' first baseman. 
couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Into the box now, Byron Buxton. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Just hung in there on that one. Again, a 1 2. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. New inning set to get underway. And here's Fran Reyes stepping in. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. The count now at two and one. Here it comes. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning. You've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. 3-2 pitch. He swung on and missed strike three. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin. Bases are empty, one man out. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Roberto. 1-1. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Oliver Perez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 39. Oliver. Now in the box, Harry. Jake Cave. He's one for two in this one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Perez is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. Lifted into the air out towards center field. The Shields is right there, and he's got it for out number one. Now, now at the plate, Ryan the Jeffers. A hit in oh, two yeah. tries so far. Jeffers. One out, nobody on. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Fouled away. Now he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. Fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. So the lineup flips no, over and digging in for hip Polanco. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. Trevor May has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 65. 
Ready to begin the eighth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Josh Naylor. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And right into the shift. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Still even at 2-2. Two and two. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. How about it? Digging in, Delino DeShields, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Count remains 2 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Skied into very shallow right. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the running play, two down. Now batting, Cesar Hernandez. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. On the ground to the left side. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Dominic Leone is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 53. Dominic. Josh Donaldson digging in now. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Hit hard to third. Ramirez is there. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Here's Nelson Cruz now. 0 for 3 with a couple yep, of strikeouts there. for him to this point in the ballgame. A ball and two strikes. One, and two. One out, nobody on. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Up now next for Minnesota, Eddie Rosario. Eddie. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. A 1 1. Leon, once a member of the Cardinals organization, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come off season. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Taylor Rogers comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 55. Jose Ramirez will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016. Just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Hey, this has been an epic at-bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. 
And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Well struck but foul over by the coaching box. 2-2, here it is. Hit softly on the ground to third. Scooped up. Throw on to first, and now the Indians are down to their final out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Carlos Santana. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate, 0 for 3. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Rogers rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen, at least in terms of giving up base hits. He's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up. Still one and two as he fouls it away. And now a crowd right around 25,000 strong comes to their feet. Swinging a soft liner. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The Minnesota Twins led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Jose Barrios pitches well enough to get the W. Shane Bieber takes the loss despite striking out 11 batters. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Twins. One run, five hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For Cleveland, no run, three hits.